the Marshall Thundering Herd, Charles Huff. Last year, a decent enough first year, went 7-6. and six. Post-game win expectancy showed 7.32 and 4.68, so 7-5, and five, somewhere around there. Uh, Marshall did lose the bowl game here. Uh, they were 6-7 and seven against the spread last year, so it, about what you would expect. Their projected SP Plus record this year is 8-4. and four. Returning production number 79 in the country, bringing about 59%. Uh, and their roster strength, surprisingly, really, really good, which could lead to them unexpectedly competing in this division. Remember, this is another one of those teams that was in Conference USA, is jumping up to the Sun Belt, and they are going to deal with uh, a little bit more difficult division than anything that they faced in the in Conference USA. Uh, how about this? Retract that little bit part, and let's just say this is a major step up in class. At, going to play App State, Georgia State, Coastal Carolina, etc., pretty big. Pretty big difference between that and Conference USA. Now, Marshall did have to play Western Kentucky, and they played UTSA. There are some really good teams in Conference USA. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, overall, this is a, a big step up in class. Offensive coordinator here is Clint Trickett. He takes over uh, after last year's OC moved over to Memphis. Um, he was the wide receivers coach and the passing game coordinator last year. Clint Trickett was. The quarterback, Grant Wells, transferred out. I don't know if that's good or bad. Their turnover margin was number 107. And while Grant Wells could fling the ball around, he did have some of those games where he was throwing three and four interceptions. And it got very frustrating very quickly. I will say that. He's got a ton of talent, but turned the ball over way too much last year. Just way too much. Um, on top of that, they weren't exactly explosive last season. Number 116 in explosive play rate on offense. What is Texas Tech transfer Henry Columbia going to look like behind an offensive line that only returns one starter? I, I can't answer that right now. I, I think they brought in some dudes. I think they've got some talent. But you don't have a lot of experience here. Uh, looking at the returning production on offense, they're number 101 in the country, bringing 51% back. How many guys can you get in that will understand what Clint Trickett wants them to do? That's what we got to see. Wide receivers, Corey Gamage, Shahid Ahmed, running back Rasheen Ali, they are all super exciting. Uh, on top of that, everything here is going to depend on the offensive line and the quarterback. Like, Henry Columbia was okay for Matt Wells at Texas Tech, but obviously there's a reason why he transferred. So, what does he look like? Is is he going to be good? I think he's the best they got on the roster right now. So, we'll, I, I would imagine he he wins that job. On defense, defense coordinator Lance Gidry, former McNeese State head coach, uh, had a really good first season last year. The defense was good against the pass last year. Number 35 success rate allowed. Uh, looks to be again with pass rushers and the cornerbacks returning. Turnover at safety and defensive tackle, to me, is their biggest issue. Like, can they improve against the run? They were number 68 in success rate allowed, number 77 in yards per rush allowed. I, I'm curious. I, the defense was pretty good last year. Not, not quite as good as the offense, but pretty good. But when you're only bringing back 67% on defense, only 51% on offense, you're going to have a lot of new pieces. Just a lot of new pieces. On top of that, um, let's jump into the keys of the season here. You got to hope that the quarterback, Columbia, and the new offensive line develop quickly. You got to stop beating yourself. They were number 116 in the country in interceptions thrown last year. Again, Grant Wells is now at Virginia Tech. Uh, they were number 105 in fumbles lost as well. So it wasn't all on Grant Wells. Uh, they were number 76 in penalties per game. That's reasonable. If you're going to be aggressive on offense and defense, you're going to have those. Uh, on, on the other side, got to find a way for the defense to develop in the middle of the line and the middle of the secondary, and you got to find a way to stop the run. That's the biggest thing. And they were okay at it, but you you got to be better, especially in this division. So I've got this team at 8-4. and four. I think that's a little higher than some people have them. Now, Projected SP Plus actually has them at 8-4. and four, But I look at the schedule, I, I see another confusing outing because we saw last year they lost to some teams – that they probably shouldn't have lost to, and they beat some teams that, based on those other losses, they probably shouldn't have beaten. This is a very confusing team last year, and I think they'll be the same way again. I think they'll be the exact same way again, but we'll see. Uh, manageable opening schedule. 
although they do have three straight road games after that opening uh, weekend game against Norfolk State. But yeah, eight and four looks reasonable here. I, I could see this team being six and six, you know, somewhere around there. I could see them being nine and three. There's enough talent here for them to be really good if everything clicks. But I, I just think eight and four sounds reasonable. Maybe seven and five, somewhere around that seven and a half game range. We'll see what the win total is when it comes out over the summer. But that would be my guess. My my guess is the win total will be seven and a half, and I'd probably take the over because I, I like the talent on this team. And I like Clint Trickett. I, I think the defensive coordinator, Gidry, is pretty good. We'll roll with that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.